There are lots of good brands of electrical wires available in the market. But in this video, we will discuss what type of cable rather than the brand that you need to go for your house electrical wiring. Here are some of the general guidelines you need to take care of when you are planning to buy cables for your house. Guideline 1, choose the right type of cable for your requirement. Every brand which produces house electrical wiring has multiple product types available in the house wire category. Some of the types of house electrical wiring available are FR fire retardant wires, EFFR FR PVC extra flexible wires, HFFR halogen free flame retardant wires, FRLS fire retardant and low smoke wires, FRLSH fire retardant low smoke and low halogen wires. When choosing an electrical socket or switch or a wire, keep a general guideline that the material should be fire rated for at least two hours. The majority of fire-related deaths are caused by smoke inhalation of the toxic gases produced by fires. So when choosing a cable you can definitely go for a cable that emits less smoke. The last two types of cables that we have mentioned in the above types are low smoke cables. So while you are planning to buy house wires for your house construction, you can choose the any one of these cable as per your requirement and the budget you can allocate. The above wires are given in the ascending order of their costs. So, FRLSH has all the best features but will be costlier than others. Guideline 2, Copper Wire Thickness. One of the main concerns people face when they buy house wires is that the thickness of the copper conductor is not as mentioned on the box. Many of these big brands are reliable in the market. You can do a quick test before you buy any wire. Check the number of copper strands that are present in a wire by counting them individually. This should match the number mentioned on the box. Guideline 3, buy the right size of cable required. Whenever you are planning for your house electrification work, you need to always buy the right size of cable, wire for the appliance you are connecting it to. The reason is, if you are connecting a cable that is too small in cross-section area as compared to the load it's carrying, the cable gets heated up and will result in damage to the cable. Below are given affiliate links of some products in the description by me, where you can see them and purchase if you like them. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For getting more useful and interesting information to subscribe to the engineer AJ Lard's channel, How to Make Home.